Tech Ministries here, with a study on events that must take place before the start of the tribulation period. Have the tribulation period already started? According to many authors of videos on YouTube, it has, and most of the church is asleep, and unaware that it is happening. In my study of the book of Revelation, it occurred to me that a few things must happen prior to the start of the tribulation, which will undoubtedly signal that the tribulation is about to start. This study will point out these things, which we should be watching out for, and according to scripture, will take place just ahead of the start of the tribulation period. After this teaching, you decide for yourself if the tribulation has started already, and whether the church is asleep at the wheel. Now, let's get started. I have listed three starter events, that will take place just before, or currently with, the beginning of the tribulation period. We will start with the one we are most familiar with, and that being the confirming of the covenant, spoken by Daniel. Scripture says, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. The word confirm means to strengthen, to enforce, and to make binding. The Antichrist will enforce the covenant that is already in existence at the time of his rising. So, the church is watching to see who will sign a seven-year contract with Israel, and her surrounding nations. But the signing of a contract, is not what begins the seven-year tribulation. It is the confirming of the covenant, an existing contract, that begins the tribulation period. His confirmation of the covenant will give it teeth to cause it to be binding, and his enforcement may be by military might, a police state, or drone enforcement. Today, Jared Kushner is working on a treaty involving Israel and her surrounding nations, to be at peace with one another. If this contract stands, it may come to be of none effect, if the parties violate the terms of the agreement. And it will be then, that the Antichrist will arise to confirm or strengthen the covenant, and subsequently break the covenant, after three and a half years of enforcement. Although we should be looking to spot the one who confirms the covenant, that is no guarantee that we will spot the beginning of the tribulation period, as that contract could be signed in secret, and the world not made aware of its starting point. So, if the confirmation of the covenant is made public, and there is no secret signing, then we have located the beginning of the tribulation period. Moving on. Now, the next starter event to notify us that the tribulation period is about to begin, is the rapture of the 144,000 servants of God. You say, where is that in scripture, I never heard that before. This is a case where we read scripture, but don't fully understand what is being said. This is what scripture says concerning this. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. So, first I want to bring to your attention, three things about this group of 144,000 individuals. 1. Is that they sung a new song before the throne, and no man could learn and sing that song except the 144,000. And 2. Is that this group were redeemed from the earth, and from among men. And 3. These are the first fruits of the coming last day harvest. This is very important that you are aware of these three things, and understand what they mean, to see the case for their rapture, being prior to the start of the tribulation period. 
Now, the case for their singing. Their singing is done before the throne, and before the Lamb, wherever he decides to go. So if Jesus decides to go down to hell, these will follow him singing wherever he decides to go. And if Jesus decides to go down to the earth, these will follow him singing wherever he decides to go. And the song they will be singing is a song which only they have learned, and only they can sing. So, now it is by their singing that we will follow them, to see where they end up, in establishing a case for a rapture. But before this, we need to understand what the word, redeemed means. Redeemed means to lift up, and take away, as in to purchase an item, and then possess it, and lift it up, then take it away. Remember, the scripture said, these were redeemed from the earth, and from among men. Therefore, holding to this meaning, and paraphrasing, it could say, these individuals were purchased from the earth, and from among men, and possessed, and lifted up and carried away into heaven. This is just another way of saying, these individuals were raptured. Now, let's see if we can prove, they were received into heaven, prior to the start of the tribulation period. In the case for the first fruits, the first fruits has reference to being first, to be ahead of, even the top dog as it were. At the last day, there will be the dividing of the wheat from the chaff, or the good from the bad. It will be the time of harvesting, and God will gather the good to himself, and the bad to be burned. But before the harvest, he will gather in, a special group, a sample group, the first fruits of those to be harvested, and they will be gathered, or transported, even redeemed into heaven, at least seven years ahead of the greater group. Just as Jesus was raised as the first fruit, as a sample of the raised dead, ahead of the dead who will be raised, on the day of resurrection. Now, remember we said we will follow this group, to see where they come to sing, in establishing that they are raptured before the start, of the tribulation period. Scripture says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue, and people and nation. Okay, so following their singing, we find them before the throne of God in heaven, and these are the words they sang. Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. This puts them in heaven, before the throne of God and the Lamb, singing their song about Jesus being able to take the book, and open the seals thereof, to start the tribulation period. And then they continued singing, saying, For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. There's that word redeemed again, and here they are telling you how they came to be in heaven, prior to the start of the tribulation period. They are telling you they were caught up, they were raptured from every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation, and are singing before God in heaven, before any seal of the book is broken, to start the tribulation period. So, when you hear of thousands of people, Jewish people, missing from all over the earth, as broadcast by the news, you will know that the tribulation is at hand, because it is only then, that the 144,000 will be redeemed from the earth, just ahead of the start of the tribulation period. Moving on. Now, we come to our last pointer to the start of the tribulation period. It is evidenced by the appearance of the two witnesses. Scripture says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. A thousand two hundred and threescore days, is equal to three and a half years. God will give power to his witnesses, and in that power, they will have a reign of three and a half years. The tribulation period will last seven years, and of those seven years, three and a half years will be occupied with exploits and miracles, from the witnesses of God. 
These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. There is two chains of thought, as to who the olive trees and candlesticks are. Some say they are two individuals, while others say they are two groups of people. But whatever you believe them to be, they will be walking in the power of God, even surpassing the power Jesus gave to his disciples while he was yet alive. Listen to the abilities they will have for three and a half years of the tribulation period. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth, and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So, whether these be two individuals, or a group of individuals, they will have miracle working powers, to help heal men, destroy the sinners, and turn men to God. Now, when will these witnesses appear? And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them and kill them. Okay, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit, ascends out of it midway of the seven-year tribulation, making that at the three-and-a-half-year mark. From that time on, his mission will be to destroy all of God's witnesses. Therefore, if he comes to be at the three-and-a-half-year marker, after the witnesses has been working miracles for three-and-a-half years, then the witnesses got their start at the beginning of the tribulation period. So, when you see and hear of workers of miracles, performing their deeds all over the earth, then know that the tribulation is here, or is about to begin, and these will show their exploits for three-and-a-half years, until the beast from the bottomless pit is released, to destroy them. So, what have we learned? We learned that, we should be watching for the confirmation of an existing contract. We learned that, we should be watching for the rapture of the 144,000 servants of God. And we learned that, we should be watching for the beginning of the ministry of the two witnesses. All of these things happens prior to, or simultaneously with, the beginning of the tribulation period. And once these things has been noted, you have to yourself, undeniable proof, the tribulation is just about to be, or currently is in motion. If you wish to have the mind of Christ, and not be deceived by the traditions of men, tell God. I know I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Tell God. I believe Jesus died for my sins. Tell God. I believe he was dead and buried. And tell God. I believe he was raised on the third day. If your confession is from the heart, and you learn of him, he will give you eyes to see, the things which are about to come upon the earth. Thanks for watching. God has not left us to our own devices, to knowing the season in which the tribulation will start. He has given us pre-tribulation markers if we have eyes to see them. If this study has helped you, please share it with your family and friends, and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Amen.